The administration of meter dose inhalers is much more than just the procedure alone. There are a variety of factors to consider prior to actual delivery of the drug. There are drug factors. There's patient factors as well. How sick they are and the characteristics of their airway disease. There's ventilator factors. What kind of ventilator are you using? What mode are you in? There's circuit factors to consider. Position of the MDI device. In a study done by Rao and colleagues, it was shown that the MDI on the endotracheal tube versus having an inspiratory reservoir had a dramatic difference in actual drug delivery. The further away the MDI was placed from the patient on the inspiratory limb, with the addition of an inspiratory reservoir, seemed to improve the overall deposition and delivery of the drug to the actual individual. Because a variety of manufacturers create a variety of different delivery devices, one has to be aware of these factors prior to the actual administration of the drug knowledge of the MDI inhaler itself and what the manufacturer's product monograph shows is all important prior to delivery. Make sure that the device is positioned according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Use professionalism and aseptic technique throughout the procedure. Ensure that hands are thoroughly washed at a sink or with an approved alcohol-based hand product prior to the commencement of the procedure and the donning of gloves. Identify the patient, yourself, the department that you represent, and your role as a respiratory therapy student at NBCC St. John. It is at this point that you can explain the procedure and confirm patient understanding as appropriate to the patient's condition. The pre-assessment phase may begin, which may include pulse oximetry, auscultation, pulse check, and respiratory rate check. You may begin by placing the holding chamber on the inspiratory limb proximal to the circuit Y, or as directed by the manufacturer's product monograph. Implement therapy by shaking the MDI, administering one puff at a time, and closing the circuit between puffs. Repeat as necessary and as prescribed. During this time, you should be observing the patient for unfavorable signs and symptoms by observing both the ventilator and the bedside monitor. Conclude the procedure and document according to the site policy and procedure. Notify other personnel as appropriate, including the preceptor to whom you are assigned. MDI administration on the ventilator can be mastered in a short series of steps. Pay attention to the factors related to drug delivery and the placement of the MDI device to be successful in this clinical-based objective.